prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. For prophecy never came by the will of man. But holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 21 God's word is pure, therefore very sure. On Sunday, January 2nd at the Ark of God Covenant Ministry, Apostle John Chi gave prophetic messages concerning what will happen in the year 2022. Amongst them was a prophecy concerning two nations which will draw the attention of the whole world. These were his words. Some weeks back, Quelques semaines passées, I've been seeking the face of God to know what will happen in this year 2022. And this is exactly what the Lord showed me. Et voici ce qui en ressort exactement. This is a message from God. C'est un message venant de Dieu. For the year 2022. Pour I see a serious conflict between two countries Je vois un conflit sérieux entre deux nations which will draw the attention of the whole world. Qui attirera l'attention du monde tout entier. Watch what is happening between Russia and Ukraine which is drawing the attention of the whole world. As Russia's invasion of Ukraine enters its seventh day, the Russian military claims to have taken control of Ukraine's Black Sea port of Kherson in the south of the country. If confirmed, it would be the biggest Ukrainian city to fall to Russia since fighting began. Kherson's governor says, yes, his city is surrounded, but the mayor insists we are still Ukraine. This conflict has indeed drew the attention of the whole world, as prophesied by the man of God Apostle John Chi. Let's watch what world leaders are saying concerning the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Let's watch. And all our warnings have proved tragically accurate. President Putin of Russia has unleashed war in our European continent. He's attacked a friendly country without any provocation and without any credible excuse. Ukraine is a country that for decades has enjoyed freedom and democracy and the right to choose its own destiny. We and the world cannot allow that freedom just to be snuffed out. Cette nuit, la Russie a engagé une attaque militaire massive contre l'Ukraine. Ce choix délibéré, qui contrevient à tous les engagements pris par les autorités russes et du peuple ukrainien. Leur liberté est la nôtre. Rusya'nın bugün erken saatlerde Ukrayna topraklarına başlattığı askeri harekatı kabul edilemez bulduğumuzu ve reddettiğimizi belirterek furchtbarer Tag für die Ukraine und ein düsterer Tag für Europa. Mit seinem Angriff auf die Ukraine bricht der russische Präsident Putin abermals eklatant das Völkerrecht. Putin bringt damit Leid und Zerstörung über seine direkten Nachbarn. As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. Italia, l'Unione Europea e tutti gli alleati chiedono al presidente Putin di mettere fine immediatamente allo spargimento di sangue e di ritirare le proprie forze militari al di fuori des confines internationaux. La Russie seront à la hauteur de l'agression dont elle seront coupables. Sur le plan militaire et économique, autant que dans le domaine de l'énergie, nous serons sans faiblesse. It is wrong. It is against the charter. It is unacceptable, but it is not irreversible. I repeat my appeal from last night to President Putin. Stop the military operation. Bring the troops back to Russia. The man of God Apostle John Shi and the Ark of God Covenant Ministry prays for God's intervention and a peaceful settlement between these two nations, in Jesus Christ's name.